want it, get it, don't ever give up, you got it, you want to make it, then chase it, no one can stop you, stop you, they're gonna hate you, hate you, but let them hate you, this fine, cause if they stand in your way, then you gotta leave them. Yo, what is going on guys, it is Sam or Burns, and welcome back, finally! to the South Alabama Dynasty. It's so great to finally be making a return to YouTube, and I'm so stoked to once again be bringing you some South Alabama Dynasty. Now, when we left off, the Jaguars were just coming off of a 7-6 and six season and their first season in the SEC, and they start the season unranked and already taking on an SEC opponent. We will be at home taking on the Ole Miss Rebels, trying to improve to 1-0 on the year. It was a great offseason, but we'll see if we can make it a great regular season. Have you with us in the studio? I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A nice, easy pace of warm up over. Better buckle those chin straps. SEC action about to start. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Brett Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Alright, so starting off, the Jaguars have the ball, and it is Caleb Blanchard going up the middle. He's going to rumble ahead for 11 yards. His first carry of the season is good enough for a first down. We have a new quarterback this year, John Tucker, in at quarterback, and he is back to pass, and he will be throwing the curl route, and he goes for the interception, and Anthony Thompson's got a lot of room to run. He's across the 50 to the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. You see last season he had 50 catches for 8, 27, and 9 touchdowns. And there is his first touchdown on the season, a 7-0 lead for South Alabama. Now Buchanan and this Ole Miss Rebels offense is ready to go to work. And Buchanan is going to run out the middle on the read option for 12 right there. Now third down and inches, Buchanan back to pass. He's going to find Lester on the left side on a slant route. He's going to get down to the 31. Tim Lester, 17 yards there. Now third and 12, Buchanan throwing the screen pass. And it is Moore who's making guys miss. And he is down to the 10-yard line for a first down. Khalil Moore with a 22-yard reception. And then first and 10 is going to be Quincy uh, Adebe, Adebe, Adebeo. I honestly don't know how to say that. I should know how to say it, but I don't. So John Tucker and the Jaguars offense starting off at the 50 after a pretty good kick return. And Caleb Blanchard is going to go ahead for 10 yards. Now third and inches. Tucker is going to keep it on the read option and go up the middle. He's a pretty speedy little guy. He's got seven yards right there. So Jaguars and Rebels knotted up at seven. First and ten. Three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Tucker rolling to his right. And he's going to sling it out to Brad Rogers for 15 yards. And now in the shotgun, Tucker is going to hand it up off up the middle to Caleb Blanchard, who's going to get 10 more yards. Blanchard having a pretty good day so far. Five carries for 42 yards, averaging over eight yards a carry. And now fourth and six. The Jaguars like to go for it. Tucker rolling to his left. Nowhere really to go. And does he get it? It was close. But no, it's a turnover on downs. And the ball goes back to Ole Miss at their own 10-yard line. Now Buchanan going to keep this on the read option. And he's going to go ahead and get 11 yards right there. Ryan Buchanan, the quarterback, is a pretty crafty runner. Uh, from the pocket, especially from the option. Now, third down and eight, Buchanan hit as he throws. No, he doesn't throw. It's a fumble, and it's recovered by Walton. He was in our first ever recruiting class. Walton was. He's now a senior, and he recovers his first fumble of the season. As you see right here, we'll see a replay. As Buchanan gets decked right there, and then... Uh, by Gonzalez and coming in to clean it up is Walton so it's gonna be a first down and 10 for South Alabama at the 10 yard line now Tucker in the shotgun rolling to his right and he's gonna take off towards the end zone and he is in 10 yard touchdown run for John Tucker and South Alabama now up 14-7 on Ole Miss a minute 21 to play here in the first quarter now a minute to go Buchanan is going to hand off to Wilkins and Wilkins is going to roll ahead here on second and seven for 13 yards Jordan Wilkins his third carry of the day is good enough for a first now now time winding down here in the first quarter Buchanan back to pass throwing on the left side and he finds Lester 
who is taken down after a 19-yard reception. And that'll do it here uh, almost for the first quarter. And we got one more play as Buchanan is going to hand off to Moore up the right side. And he's going to make some guys miss. And he's out across the 20, 15, and he's taken down at the 12. And a 30-yard run for Kylo Moore. Uh, his first carry of the day as we head to the quarter break with South Alabama a slim seven point lead on Ole Miss but the Rebels are driving trying to tie this game up so here we go start of the second quarter third down and seven Buchanan in the shotgun Wilkins to his right and Buchanan back to pass he's hit as he throws but he finds uh, Mike Auerman for a four yard reception that's not good enough for the first down so Ole Miss would kick the field goal, make it 14-10. Now Thompson here on the right side. Anthony Thompson that had that huge touchdown earlier. He's going to get his second catch of the day. He's up to 91 yards receiving now on that pass from John Tucker, who's up to 114 yards passing. And that's good enough for a first down. 6.30 to go here in the first half. Tucker's going to hand off to Caleb Blanchard up the middle. And he finds some gaps, finds some room to run. That is a 13-yard run for Mr. Caleb Blanchard. He is up to 55 yards on the day. A very impressive debut for Caleb Blanchard uh, on this season. So Buchanan, even though we could not do much with that drive, so we had to punt. We'll see if Buchanan and the Rebels can do anything. He's going to find Quincy again for a first down. Now third down and five. Buchanan back to pass, and he is going to throw on the left side for Jones, who's going to not get... Oh, he gets the first down. They give it to him. Five-yard reception, just barely good enough for a first down. Now third and five once again. Buchanan throwing on the left side, and he finds Hall down inside the 10-yard line as that is going to set up a first and goal for Ole Miss. Ter Terrell Hall, his first catch on the day. Now second down and goal, Buchanan. Empty backfield. He's back to pass, and he's hit as he throws, but again finds his favorite target for the six-yard touchdown as Ole Miss takes a 17-14 lead here on the day. And the South Alabama defense kind of struggling. Now Tucker back to pass over the middle is going to find Brian McIntyre, the tight end, for 23 yards right there. As time is winding down here in the first half, a minute and a half to go. Tucker, empty backfield, back to pass. And he's going to be going over the middle once again. And this time it is Derek Lundy inside the 20, down to about the 17 yard line. 40. Eight seconds to go, second and inches. Tucker rolling to his left. He's got some room to run, and he is into the end zone. Seven-yard touchdown run for John Tucker, his second rushing touchdown of the game. Puts South Alabama back up 21-17. Now 27 seconds to go here. Second and 17 for the Rebels in plus territory. And Buchanan is going over the middle, but it's intercepted by Marcus Stegall, one of the leaders of this defense. Intercepts at the second turnover of the day for Ole Miss. And that is going to give South Alabama a chance around midfield with the ball. 22 seconds left and three timeouts. So we'll see if the Jaguars can take advantage of this. And you'll see here the defensive players celebrating as they go out the field. 22 seconds. Tucker back to pass. And he's going over the middle. He's going to find Brian McIntyre, who avoids some guys and gets down to the 21-yard line. Time out, South Alabama. 15 seconds remaining. McIntyre's third catch of the day. He's got 71 yards so far in this first half. Now Tucker shotgun back to his right. And he's going to step back and fire to Rodgers there on the left side. But he stays in bounds as South Alabama will use their second timeout after a 15-yard reception. Now first and goal, Tucker fires, touchdown to the freshman Fenton. And that puts South Alabama up 28-17 to with just seven seconds left here in the first half. And South Alabama has an 11-point lead in their first SEC contest on the season, 28-17, as they look to improve on that 7-6 and season they had last year. So we're going to go ahead and head to the halftime show, and you'll see the first half stats here in a moment, uh, presented to you by Nissan, obviously. Uh, it was a pretty good first half. Uh, I felt that our offense was definitely firing on all cylinders, but our defense definitely needs some work. We had a couple of turnovers, and that's the main reason we're up is we're in the plus and the turnover differential. But I think other than that, there's still a lot of things that can be improved on uh, for this team and for the rest of the season. Otherwise, I'd say it's a really great way to start the season, as you just see some of the highlights here. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at the halftime stats. Obviously, your score is 28-17, South Alabama on top. 241 passing yards to 192 for Ole Miss. Both teams are 72 rushing yards. Ole Miss, a little more time of possession. But again, South Alabama is winning the turnover battle, and that's why we're winning the game. So as we head into this third quarter, South Alabama on defense. Second down and nine, and Buchanan is sacked right there. 
for a loss of eight, Ryan Buchanan is sacked, and that is going to set up a third down and 17 for the Ole Miss Rebels. Not a great way for them to start this half. It's already trailing by 11 and needing to score some points. 7.38 remaining in the third quarter. There's still a ton of time, but Buchanan and this Rebels offense is going to find, have to find something here as he's going to dump it off to Wilkins on the screen pass and gets a great block right there on the corner, and then a couple missed tackles. Ends up giving Jordan Wilkins a 39-yard reception on the screen pass as they're into South Alabama territory. Now third down and 10, Buchanan back to pass and nowhere really to go and he just avoids a sack and someone comes open after he stands in the pocket for almost eight seconds it is greg jones a 26 yard reception right there and now second down to seven play action pass buchanan again looking looking finds him again in the end zone great coverage but the uh, defensive line the pass rush just could not get to him and buchanan tosses his third touchdown on the day to make this a four point game now here we go on the kickoff kicking to gonzalez is gonna take it about five yards deep he's gonna take it up the right sideline he's out across the 20 to the 30 out across the 40 across the 50 and finally pushed out at about the opponent's 41 yard line a 63 yard kick return gives the jaguars some great field position here to start this half so here we go on second down and seven now after that kick return Tucker is back to pass and he's going over the middle and it is caught by Fenton who stumbles ahead to about the one and a half yard line a 24 yard reception for the freshman his second catch of the day as John Tucker is up to 266 yards passing he's got a couple touchdowns as the Jaguars looking to punch it in once again first and goal handing off to Caleb Blanchard and he is in two yard touchdown run for Caleb Blanchard he is first on the season as the Jaguars reclaim an 11 point lead 35 24 here about halfway through the third quarter and you'll see just a couple replays as we go ahead and turn it over to the Rebels as Wilkins is going to rumble up the middle and he's going to get about 18 yards right there Jordan Wilkins now second down to 10 for Ole Miss in the shotgun is Buchanan with a back to his left and he's back pass from the pocket fires on the right side and a great pass right there fitting in in between a couple of defenders as that is a 15 yard reception good enough for first down now third and nine Kincaid the backup is in and his first pass on the season goes to Greg Jones for a 22 yard reception as Bu Ryan Buchanan was injured and would not return to this game but Devontae Kincaid brings the Rebels into the end zone right there to cut this lead and you'll see Florida State it was well, you know it's not much of an upset if this was a few years ago but Florida State takes down number four South Carolina 34 31 big upset right there as the number four team in the country starts off with a loss to an unranked team so the Jaguars only up four now third and seven and it's a screen pass to Caleb Blanchard who is going to barely get the first down by ways of forward progress that is a seven yard reception only his second of the game for three yards now first and ten tucker from the pocket he's gonna find gore right there he's brought down awkwardly there's a flag on the play and we'll see what it is it is a face mask on the defense so tack on 15 more yards onto that and you see scott scott with the face mask penalty right there so that would set up this first and goal for tucker who is going to be rolling to his right side looking for something and he's in the end zone a three-yard touchdown run his third rushing touchdown of the game so great rushing production again um that seemed to become a staple of the south Alabama. Bama Jaguars some great rushing production from the quarterback position but as we head to the fourth quarter not much defense being played 42 31 South Alabama on top the Rebels about to get the ball and we'll see uh, if they can do anything with it they've been trailing pretty much this entire game they had a lead for a little bit but we'll see if they can uh, possibly come back but you see we end up getting the ball back after they went three and out and you'll just see a game track here uh, of John Tucker making his first career start and he is doing a hell of a job slinging the ball all over the field he's got three rushing touchdowns a couple of passing touchdowns and you'll just see his stats here in a second 319 yards two touchdowns on 16 to 24 passing no interceptions hasn't turned the ball over very pleased with Tucker up to this point as he's gonna fire over the middle again for Dennis Lundy a 
21 yard reception right there for Mr. Lundy, his third catch of the game. Now, Tucker again back to pass on the play action. Second and seven, rolling to his right, looking for someone to come open. He's going to fire over the on the right side right there for Fenton, and he is going to have a huge first down down to the 25 yard line, and that is his fourth catch on the day, up to almost 70 yards receiving. Now, second and 13, Tucker back to pass, got a man open. It is Anthony Thompson who is having himself a day. 14-yard reception, puts him over the century mark. Three catches, 105 yards, and a touchdown for Anthony Thompson as the Jaguars once again driving, and Tucker approaches 400 yards passing. But we would end up having to settle for a field goal and go up by 14 points, 45-31 your score, five and a half minutes left in this game. Now, Devontae Kincaid on third and one can't do it. A three-yard loss, and that would end up having to be a punt for Ole Miss on fourth down and four deep in their own territory. So a big stop right there leaves the door open for John Tucker to seal the deal as he's going deep and it's caught by Dennis Lundy. He went up and got that one. He earned every one of those 28 yards. And you'll see right here a beautiful throw puts it only where Lundy can get it and Lundy went up and got it. So four minutes remaining now. Tucker back to pass again. Firing on the right side. Anthony Thompson down inside the 20 yard line. That's a 16 yard reception. Further padding his wonderful day. Four catches for a buck 21 and a touchdown as John Tucker is now up to 428 yards passing and a couple of touchdowns. So first down and 10 now for the Jaguars as we continue to approach the end of this game. Set up a first and 10. Tucker empty backfield. Will fire over the middle to a wide open. Larry Gore, an 18-yard touchdown reception. And that is John Tucker's sixth total touchdown of the game as he gets up to 446 yards passing. His third passing touchdown of the game. And we'll see one last effort by Ole Miss down by 21 at this point. Is Devontae Kincaid is going to find Lester. And they're trying to drive Tim Lester a 14-yard reception right there. They're trying to do something with this as they go hurry up. They've been hurried up all game. But this is the most crucial time in the game for them as they need to score three touchdowns in the next three and a half minutes. Kincaid in the shotgun with a back to his left and he's going to take the snap looking to throw, looking and he's going to take off up the middle. No one there to stop him and he's going to get the first down and that's going to stop the clock. Remember, Ole Miss still has all three of their timeouts left. Devontae Kincaid up to 19 yards rushing after that. So first down and 10 and the clock is stopped. Three and a half minutes to go. Kincaid with a couple of people in the backfield to his right side. He is in the shotgun. It's kind of a pistol shotgun formation and Kincaid is going to fire on the left side but the route is jumped by Gonzalez and it is intercepted and that will all but seal the deal as he is taken down at about the 44 yard line but Devontae Kincaid throws his first interception on the day and that is the third Ole Miss turnover that will pretty much seal the deal as from here on out we would just run out the clock and sealed the deal just run the ball down there would be no more points scored so your final score in this one south alabama 52 ole miss 31 and it was a great game um you know our defense definitely improved in the second half we made some good halftime adjustments but that in that first half it was pretty worrying uh mainly to see just how how bad <laughs> we were playing on the defensive end obviously we've always been a good offensive team and i've always been a good offensive coach uh john tucker is your player of the game but Again, defense is worrisome, and if we want to, you know, have a shot at competing for a national championship this year, or even just an SEC championship this year, um, you know, we we gotta have a better defensive showing than this. I know we won by 21 points, but that's because we scored 52 points. If we had only scored, you know, 20 points, we lose by, you know, two scores. But, anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I hope you guys are super stoked, as stoked as I am that this series is coming back. I'm gonna try to post it as often as I can until I leave for college in September. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, I hope you did enjoy, and I will definitely see you guys next time.